Okay, so in this one we're looking at Log Law 3. Now Log Law 3 is probably the most important Log Law that you're going to learn. Uh, it's got some really important practical applications, uh, especially in modelling and problem solving questions. Uh, let's look at what it first looks like. Uh, log some base, I don't care what the base is, a to the power of n. So log base x a to the power of n can be rewritten as n log base x to the a. So that power, that index, can move from there out to the front, n log base x a. Now, practical example. So we could say that log, uh, well let's make it log base 10 again so we don't need to write any bases here. Uh, log base 10 uh, 50 to the 3 is equal to 3 times log base 10, 50. Now this is going to be really, really useful being able to get rid of an index and bring it out here and, and turn it into multiplication. Now in the same way, you can obviously reverse this process. 4 log base 10, 2 is equal to log base 10, 2 to the 4, don't need that base in there, log 2 to the 4, see that 4's come out here and become an index for the 2, and of course you can rewrite that, 2 to the 4 is 2, 4, 8, 16, you can rewrite that as log 16, log base 10, 16. So we can see here that 4 times log base 10, 2 equals log 16, using that log law. This one here, don't forget this log law, really, really useful. Log base x a to the power of n equals n log base x a.